welcome to Steve Walker Guitars. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for beginners uh, on soldering. I've uh, had a few requests off people so I figured today would be a good day to show you. So what you're going to need is a soldering iron. Uh, this is a 30 watt soldering iron. I think it might be silver line or something like that but not very expensive for it to do the job. A wet sponge this is for cleaning the end of your soldering iron. Bit of wire or whatever it is you're soldering. I'm us using a couple of pieces for this demonstration. And this is some heat shrink insulation. Uh, you can use electrical tape. Some people turn the nose up at it, but it basically stops um, your joints uh, being exposed so they can short out uh, with each other or other parts of the circuit. So, oh yeah, and one of the main parts of soldering, solder. So, I'm going to show you now, I'm going to just solder these two together just so you can see. Uh, here we go. Okay, so you can actually get uh, little claws that will hold your wire together if you soldering like this. I can't seem to locate mine so for the sake of this the wire has its own base. Heat shrink tubing just slide it over the side of one of them and then I mean, you can actually cut this down if you don't need quite so much and first of all you need to clean the end of your soldering iron Best to do this before and after each um, joint if you can. Need to, it's, well, it's a good idea if you tin the end of the soldering iron, I have to excuse my shakes, and then tin the end of the wire that you're or the joints that you're going to be doing uh, on both sides probably don't need quite that much but there you go and then this is picking up okay can't quite see the lens there we go Try to uh, fight the urge to blow on it, because uh, blows air into the uh, into the joint before it's dried, or cooled down and dried, and uh, it can cause dry joints. So there you go. That's a nice shiny joint. You then pull your heat shrink tubing over it. And you can get a lighter. Under, under it. Um, yep, there you go. There you have it. You can probably get, you probably use a little heat gun or something like that to do the same thing. Uh, you want to try to avoid using the end of your soldering iron uh, because you can, um, if you get it on the iron, it's a pig to clean. So there you have it. That's how I solder. I hope the video helped. Uh, if it did, feel free to like, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. I intend to do more tutorial videos along the way, not just on the electronics, but uh, on other maintenance things, uh, building, things like that. So if that uh, appeals to you, hit subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, thank you very much for coming back and watching this video. Before uh, I end this video, I have a little bit of a dilemma and it is re with regards to uh, the use what you've got challenge that me and several others now are doing. Uh, it's great. I'm really excited as to how well it's building up. If you want to join in, or if you want to know the details, watch my previous video. Uh, there are also, uh, I'm going to link the others that are involved in this in uh, the description. Uh, you can go and check theirs out. 
there's several explanations as to how it works so watch one of them videos you'll find out um, but my dilemma is with regards to my build I have my original idea and I've also had a new idea um, so basically I have two options I'm going to show you those two options in a second and I'm going to leave it open to a, not a vote but a, what you want to see um, but I'm going to go over to the workshop now and I'll show you show you the two options could be one could be the other could be both there's plenty of time to do both so maybe I'll go with that but I'm going to show you the options leave me a comment let me know what you think Thank you very much for watching. Over to me. Yep. Right, okay. Ah, hello. Thank you, Steve. Uh, yes, um, as Steve mentioned, we have a dilemma. Some of you may be questioning my sanity. Many do. As you may recall, this is the original uh, idea, the design that I was thinking for the use what you got build. But as I was again sorting through, I found the original template for my original idea, which goes with this neck, which is very dusty, but I've been working. This is the original idea. Um, it is based loosely, I will add, on uh, the Washburn SBF uh, design. Uh, it is um, basically a solid body acoustic. It was done for live uh, performances. So you've got apparently the sound of acoustic, uh, but the feel of an electric or words to that effect. Um, and I got to work on one about five years ago and uh, I thought, well, I could build something like that. As it was, it never happened. But this is what I'm thinking. I could actually, now I've, record, well, now I've found that I have the uh, original template, I'm thinking I could do that instead with the neck that I was going to use uh, for this build. And as there happens to be enough wood for both, I could make the solid body acoustic style uh, with the acoustic size body using the babinga top from the previous video and uh, the, the wood, the walnut uh, work surface. Uh, but there would also be enough left from that um, for the new design which was originally uh, which was mentioned in the uh, talked about in the last video so what I'm thinking is maybe doing the two and having the new one more as an electric uh, the single cut or the both single cut the more Les Paul style and as the electric and then the bigger uh, template um, single cut as the acoustic the electro acoustic the solid body acoustic that's chambered whatever you want to call it that's that's what i'm thinking so give me your thoughts do you think i should do solid body acoustic or stick with the original plan of the like the les paul style hollow body uh, electroacoustic with the acoustic bridge or actually or go with an electric build with a regular electric bridge pickups and all that or do both can't do all three I know I said uh, I know Steve uh, from the conservatory said there was two options or both but thinking about it is I could do I'm winging this now. 
I could do the original design that I talked about in the last video. I could do it as an electric. And I could do this one as the acoustic, the acoustic bridge, the original neck, and take it from there. So if you're not confused by all this, you know, have a suggestion, a, a pleasant one if possible, not, you know, keep it family friendly. Um, leave your comments in the, uh, in the comments. Uh, and let me, let me know what you think. If this part of the video hasn't put you off, leave us a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, if you haven't already. If you have, thank you very much. If you're going to, thank you very much. And if you're not, I'm disappointed in you. So anyway, enough waffle. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope the soldering helped. And hopefully the next video will be um, a little bit more normal. Thank you very much. Enjoy your weekend. Take care.